The U.S. Federal Sentencing Guidelines, or USSG, are parameters that allow a judge to calculate the appropriate penalties for a criminal defendant. In addition, judges may consider both aggravating and mitigating factors in making sentencing decisions. In United States v. Davis, the Seventh Circuit considered whether a trial judge adequately considered the impact of a defendant's mental illness as a mitigating factor in determining her sentence. Margaret Davis was a nurse and professor at Chicago State University. Davis was also a program director for the Chicago chapter of the National Black Nurses Association, or CCBNA. As a program director, Davis solicited public and private grants and managed CCBNA's funds. Between December 2005 and March 2009, Davis obtained more than $1 million for CCBNA from different Illinois state agencies. However, Davis and a co-conspirator kept $377,000 of that money for their own use. Subsequently, Davis was arrested and charged in federal district court with mail fraud and money laundering. Davis then pled guilty to one count of each of the charges through a plea agreement. Under the agreement, the government promised to recommend a prison sentence of no more than 41 months based on the factors in Title 18, Section 3553 of the United States Code. This sentence was much lower than the USSG's range of 57 to 71 months. Further, Davis waived her right to appeal the reasonableness of the sentence, but reserved her right to challenge any procedural error during sentencing. During the pre-sentence investigation, the pre-sentence reporter discovered that Davis suffered from various mental health conditions that occasionally required her to be hospitalized. In light of these conditions, the reporter advised the district court judge to treat Davis's mental illness as relevant to her sentencing and to consider imposing a sentence below the USSG's recommended range of penalties. In addition, prior to the sentencing hearing, Davis filed a lengthy sentencing memorandum that included two statements from mental health experts that Davis's mental illness may have adversely affected her judgment in some indeterminable way. Following a sentence hearing, the judge, after briefly discussing Davis's mental illness, sentenced her to 41 months in prison, which was the highest end of the range in the plea agreement. Davis appealed to the Seventh Circuit, arguing that the judge made a procedural error by failing to give adequate consideration to her mental illness as a mitigating factor. 